This is my new Chinese incubator. It's a no-name brand. It's just called Egg Incubator. I used to have a more expensive brand, but it's broken. And so I purchased this one for about a quarter of the price. It's got a uh, good front screen. It has a countdown day and hour. It's got a temperature set, humidity. It uh, has a low temperature alarm that goes off and a high temperature alarm and also a humidity alarm if the humidity gets too low. On top here, it comes with a manual that shows you what these uh, letters mean, but I've put them in there myself and stuck them on the incubator because otherwise it can get a bit confusing to try to locate the manual to find out what, say, CA means. So I found that writing them on the top of the incubator or sticking them on was a, a, a really handy tool. Holds 48 eggs. And it comes with a automatic turner. Just see if I can lift this up. Now in here at the moment, I've got some quail eggs and I've got chicken eggs. And you can see I've got a, another, I've, this is a thermometer, a sending unit there. Sending out to my temperature there. The reason why I have another thermometer inside is because the temperature on the outside of this, although it's set to 40.5, should be around 37.5 or so, 100 degrees Fahrenheit for, for chicken and quail eggs. Um, because the, the temperature that this thing is set at isn't necessarily accurate, and they let you know that in the, in the manual, it's um, up to you to have a bit of a play with it and set the temperature uh, and get it get it to a degree on the outside or that it's monitoring so that it works correctly on the inside. So in my case, I've got it on a 40.5 but really it's um, hovering around the 37 or 36 and a half mark. It fluctuates a little bit. But um, it's pretty well been, been steady. On top here you've got some viewing holes. And at the moment it looks like it's doing quite a good job. I'll have to see how they hatch out. But um, that's what we're up to at the moment. Okay, now I'm getting towards the end of my Chinese egg incubator critique or review. It's a no name. And I can say now, with my hand on my heart, that this Chinese egg incubator has been a resounding success. And why is that? Well, the proof is in the hatching. I've hatched out more, if, if not the best ever, hatch rate that I've ever done. And uh, so obviously the thing keeps the temperature steady. And not only have I hatched out more quail, I've also combined quail with chicken eggs which is a big no-no and I don't recommend it. Um, but I had some chicken eggs that I wanted to get done, but at the same time, my quail season was coming to an end, so I needed to combine, put some quail eggs at this time of year in at the same time. So I've done that and I've, it's combined perfectly. And then I'll show you what I mean. I'm at the end of my quail. Uh, actually, one is hatched out and I'm about to move them now to the brooder and probably half the chicken eggs have hatched out at the moment. It's 22 days, so the chicken eggs should be just about finished. 
but there probably might be one or two or three or four late hatchings, it always happens. This last quail egg was a late hatching of about three or four days, so that's how things can go sometimes. You can have a real late hatcher. But uh, all in all, it was a complete success. It's a bit of a mess in here, but let's have a look. Now the alarm will probably go off here. <clears throat> because uh, the temperature's gonna drop quickly and the humidity will drop, so all the alarms will go off. You can see uh, we've got a little baby quail uh, mixed in with all these chickens. The only criticism I would have of this incubator, now that's the alarm going off, is the plastic floor. I would, I would much rather a, a galvanised grid and um, I reckon I'm going to change this flooring and put, cut my own galvanised grid to size of a galvanised mesh because I think that'll be better. Okay, I better get these guys straight in because I shouldn't really leave them out in the open too long. Okay, I've transferred my chicks to my outdoor cage brooder. And you can see here they're, uh, they're going to settle in fine. And overall, you can see I've got it segmented off. And it works really well. <laughs>